And in honor of National Candy Day, yes, National Candy Day, what better way to celebrate than taking a trip to a candy shop? I really thought National Candy Day was on Halloween, but apparently not. <laughs> Ryan Vetter headed out to celebrate. Boyd's retro, retro Candy Shop in West Toledo <laughs> in this week's RV on the Road. As kids, we all loved candy, and Boyd's Retro Candy Shop specializes in bringing out the kid in all of us. I managed a candy store for four years, and I knew that this was something I really wanted to do. Here, you can find a lot of popular candy from the past that you just don't see around anymore. We have the last of the kits and the slow pokes. We have the coconut squares and the jelly nougats, Mary Jane's, bit of honey, all the old gums, the bema and the cloves, the blackjack. And then, of course, there's what we all used to love, the candy necklaces, candy buttons, and the nickel nips, which is the little wax bottle with the juice in it. There's hundreds of items in here that people won't have seen for a while. Something that Pam really enjoys is watching how candy can spark a memory from childhood. It's just a joy to watch people's faces light up and all the cares fall away from their shoulders as they remember the days when they licked a jawbreaker until their tongue bled. So I think I found the best thing ever for all those times I need Michael to shut up when I need him to rap so we can move on with something in the show. How about a two-pound jawbreaker that we can shove in his little mouth? Not only does Boyd's have retro candy, they also have retro soda. One of the first things that I wanted to make sure we got in was Frosty Root Beer and Fizzies, which Fizzies were a drink of the 60s that you drop the tablets in and it turns to pop. But we have all kinds of great sodas that have cane sugar in them and are in glass bottles, a full range of root beers cream sodas, and also some real hot spicy ginger ale. One item that took me back to my childhood and reminded me of my mom is Beeman's gum. The Beeman, the blackjack, and the clove, they only make that every three to five years. Beeman's, people just love that. It'll settle your stomach. Clove, of course, is a real unusual flavor. You wouldn't find that in anything but clove gum. And blackjack, of course, is great for those black licorice lo lovers. So if you're looking for a squirrel nut zipper or a Mary Jane, check out Boyd's Retro Candy Shop. All right, it's just me and you. You really, you hurt Michael's feelings. Where's that jawbreaker at? You could use it right now. <laughs> well, I'm speechless. <laughs> Mission accomplished. All right, I did my job then, right? You big jerk. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> Beeman's, we have some Beeman's gum. Now this is only released every three to five years, and this summer happened to be a, a, a release of one of those. And I figured we'd try some of this. John just said off camera that Beeman's is his favorite gum. Can we just split, you wanna, yeah, split you it? Try it? Yeah, hmm. let's just split it. Well, let's split it. Now, because we can't chew it through the whole show. Something really important about Beeman's that you may not know, Chuck Yeager, the guy who uh, broke the sound barrier, uh, <laughs> Be which a lot of people didn't know, so I left it out of the story. But his favorite gum was Beeman's, <laughs> and it's actually a good luck charm with pilots to chew Beeman's. Um, and he always had that, if you saw the movie, The Right Stuff, hey, Ridley, uh, you got a stick of Beeman's. Mm. So that was that. Uh, this is actually the first gum. Before that, people were chewing wax. Wow. And, Thank uh, goodness for Beeman's. Yeah. It's and also, delicious. I got a yeah, lovely, thanks, delicious Ryan soda that oh, has yeah. cane sugar in it in a glass bottle. Oh, nice. Uh, this is good stuff. And uh, yeah, so you got to check them out. They're up there on, uh, right across from Mancy's on that, that funky corner of Phillips, Sylvania. Oh, okay. It's a pink building, you can't miss it. But you walk in there, they got all sorts of candy, anything you want. Gummy and bears, gummy worms, my gum, fave. Yeah, they, they got the candy next to saucers. Them. My wife likes those. Mary yeah. Jane. You know, they got Mary Janes. They oh, do have those. Oh, so they have good. squirrel nut zippers. Michael's like, what are you talking about? And she's about? trying to get, I don't, get, know, I don't know if you guys remember milkshake candy bars. No. John, do you remember milkshake candy bars? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do they have this, the, one, the, wa the candy that's covered in wax and then you bite off the top and then it has the, yes, my favorite. I have yeah, so many was, favorites. It was, I have like six. It was in the story. Well, I missed it because <laughs> Michael walked away and I, I was making, I was consoling him to make sure he was okay. The, I was well, being the good co anchor here. You know what I'm really upset about? I thought you were going to cry. You I'm didn't sorry. even get me the jawbreaker. That's what's, you made the joke, but you didn't even go through with it and bring me the candy. I know. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go get you one, though. It's right Thank you. Around, it's around the corner from my house. I'll get you one. I expect it. Um, we send have me to, we somewhere. Have to wrap up. Okay, well, send oh, me yeah. somewhere. So uh, put up the full screen, and you got all the information, and uh, tell me where to go.
I'll tell Not you where to you, go. Michael. I Not will you. tell you where to go, Vetter. <laughs> all right, now, we kid because we love all the time. I gave him a lot of uh, grief for his Hawaiian Shirt Friday gig that I'm really glad. And now I'll, I'll work on these turtlenecks. Oh, Ooh. I got it in. I love you, buddy. 622 <laughs> on your Friday. We'll be right back. We have a great guest lineup. Stay with us.